Statesboro, the big turnaround will have to wait at least another week. And by then it may be too late. See also. Georgia Southern seeks first win against New Mexico State. Eagles excited to play at Paulson for first time since December. Georgia Southern held its first halftime lead of the season, but a lackluster second half led to a 35-27 home loss at the hands of New Mexico State on Saturday night. The Eagles are now 0-5, 0-2 Sunbelt, and are just two losses away from becoming ineligible for a bowl game. Head coach Tyson Summers spoke with a gruff voice at his post-game press conference and even banged the table with his fists over his frustration about how close the Eagles are. As much as we work to put ourselves in an opportunity for a win, we were unable to get it, Summer said. It's just very frustrating right now for where we're at. We should be celebrating right now, but we're not. Georgia Southern came out in the first quarter looking like it knew exactly what it wanted to do. In the second half, the Eagles looked as lost as they have all season. New Mexico State struck first on its first possession, but the Eagles played as if they didn't even notice, responding with a methodical 15-play, 67-yard drive over 7 minutes and 9 seconds that ended with a 1-yard touchdown by L.A. Ramsby. After the Aggies quickly regained the lead, when NMSU quarterback Tyler Rogers hit Gregory Hogan for a 59-yard touchdown, GS running back Wesley Fields hit his longest run of the year on a quick pitch that turned into a 48-yard touchdown scamper. Fields finished with 103 yards and a touchdown, his second 100-yard game of his career. The offense sputtered from there. After gaining 131 yards of offense in the first quarter, the Eagles finished with just 265 for the game, and they had just five possessions in the second half. We've got to be able to do it when it counts the most, and the second half was a big part of it tonight, Summer said. Summer spoke earlier in the week about his team's need to cut out five or six plays each game to get over the hump. Most of those plays Summers would like to eliminate came in the fourth quarter. New Mexico State, which converted 8 of 13 third down Saturday, pulled some trickery early in the fourth quarter on a fourth and goal from the five. Quarterback Tyler Rogers threw a lateral to wideout Connor Kramer for a wide receiver pass. Kramer threw to the back of the end zone, where tight end Bryce Roberts was open for the go-ahead score. NMSU led 28-27. New Mexico State got the ball back a few minutes later and started to mount a drive, but cornerback Monquayavian Brinson made a second interception of the night and gave the Eagles the ball at midfield. But after Ramsby carried for three yards, GS center Curtis Rainey was ejected for fighting, and the Eagles were set back 15 yards and had to punt. The next NMSU drive, the Aggies drove 80 yards on 14 place and killed six minutes of clock before Rogers hit Jaleel Scott on a five-yard TD pass for the second time of the night. The redshirt senior finished with 382 yards and three touchdowns through the air and also ran for another score. Wirtz injured. GS quarterback Shy Wirtz was injured on Georgia Southern's final offensive play of the game. On 4th and 17 from the GS-22, Wirtz tried to scramble for the first down and dove for extra yardage as two defenders closed in on him. He took the hard hit and remained on the ground for several minutes as his teammates gathered around him. He slowly got up and walked awkwardly as he was assisted to the sideline. It was so late in the game, it'd be hard for me to give you an update right now, Summer said during his press conference. Tomorrow morning we'll get another look at him. Words rushed for 29 yards and was 6 of 9 for 73 yards in the loss. Ejections Georgia Southern had three players ejected during the game. Linebacker Tamarcia Reese was called for targeting early in the first quarter when he appeared to hit the NMSU ball carrier in the chest. But the call was upheld and Reese was ejected. R.J. Marie was then called for a late hit with targeting in the second quarter, setting the Aggies up for a touchdown that put them ahead 21-17. Finally, there was Rainey's ejection that swung the momentum of the game in NMSU's favor. Rainey will have to sit out during next week's game at UMass as a result of the penalty. 
Defensively, it takes two of our best players out of the game early. It creates quite a challenge to be able to move from there and rotate guys the way you need to. It hurts a lot, Summer said. Targeting has been an all too familiar call for Georgia Southern under Summers, and penalties in general have been a consistent problem. The Eagles committed six on Saturday, but many came in critical situations. We can't shoot ourselves in the foot, Summer said. That's what tonight's game comes down to this. We don't ever want to feel like this off of these kind of mistakes again. Those are things that are on me. NMS 147014, 35. GS 141030, 27. First quarter. NMS, Rogers 5 run, D Brown kick, 1246. GS, Ramsby 1 run, base kick, 509. NMS, Hogan 59 pass from Rogers, D Brown kick, 330. GS, Fields 48 run, base kick, 01. Second quarter. GS, FG base 32, 703. NMS, Scott 5 pass from Rogers, D. Brown kick, 449. GS, Carter 70 kickoff return, base kick, 436. Third quarter. GS, FG base 41, 1050. Fourth quarter. NMS, Robert 17 pass from Kramer, D. Brown kick, 00. NMS, Scott 5 pass from Rogers, D. Brown kick, 449. A. 16278. NMSGS. First DOWNS 2513. Rushes YARDS 26 to 1650 to 192. PASSING 39973. Comp at INT 31 to 52 26 to 90. Return YARDS 6 175. Punts out dot three to forty one point three six to thirty seven point oh. Fumbles LOST zero zero one zero. Penalties YARDS two to twenty nine six to sixty one. Time of POSSESSION twenty eight twenty four thirty one thirty six. Individual statistics. Rushing NMS Huntley sixteen to ninety nine. Rogers eight to sixteen. Team. 2, minus 9. GS, Fields 13 to 103, Ramsby 15 to 45, Wirtz 15 to 29, M. Garrett 5 to 15, Godfrey 1 1, Team, 1, minus 1. Passing, NMS, Kramer 1 1 0 17, Rogers 30 to 52 to 382, Team, 0 to 1 0 0. GS, Wirtz 6 to 9 0 73. Receiving, NMS, Huntley 10 to 87, Scott 6 to 52, Muse 5 to 106, Hogan 4 to 86, Clark 4 to 51, Roberts 1 to 17, Agon and 1 0, GS, M. Campbell 3 to 41, Godfrey 2 to 18, Fortune 1 to 14. Missed field goals, NMS, D. Brown 44.